Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Non Included, Clay's amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are in the rock full of brains, specifically in Reverse Lynn, one of the asteroids in the cluster that is the rock full of brains. Here we are trying to take small little duplicates here into the future as far as possible. This. Uh, this colony here, reversed in, doing very well. You can see people are just chilling out most of the time. Should probably give them somewhere better to chill out. But over here on Pyaxlin, things are a little bit more desperate. Last time we spent most of our, the episode taming this natural gas geyser over here, taking its produce, putting it into a, a generators. And something new that I've done here is given a little control system to that so that when our major, major control system that goes around the outside, this power spline is full of power, everything turns down and we're not wasting the natural precious resources this time i will be redoing our oil biome over here we've only got one oil well up and running there are others around but we can deal with those individually in fact down here we'll need a different system as we try and combine a whole bunch together but over here i feel like we can combine this oil well and maybe a whole bunch of petroleum generators that we have in a line down the bottom here with a few ranches that we can have over here these would be stables there's a little bit of drainage underneath for all the different liquids that come out of both of these creatures and petroleum generator and then we could have the oil refinery kind of in its own little place over here but more importantly than that we could have a way in and out with exosuits exosuits are unfortunately a technology i do not have access to right now but as you can see we have people over on a reverse line working on this i wonder why they've not done wait there's a bit of a problem novice research no dirt that's truly an issue <laughs> Okay, there's little bits we can dig out around here. We'll make do with what we've got for now. We'll try and have to uh, uh, address that at some point. Possibly start sending water over from Pyaxlin and upgrade from Millwood to Bristle Blossoms, but even they are not amazing. Um, hopefully, we've got enough barbecue. Why is there not enough barbecue here? What is going on with this? But anyway, hopefully this will uh, pick itself back up, just as I was saying how it's self-sustainable. When we've dug that dirt out and got the research back underway, uh, I've also gone ahead and set up a small shearing station up here. It needs some power hooked up to it, and we're working on that. Uh, so we can get the materials from the, from the Dreco here. Reed fiber we can uh, shear from it, and those reed fiber will go in to the making of the exosuits. Maybe a little bit late to be getting this this deep into it, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do our best, do our best. Uh, for now, we need to be able to make sure that we can leave this oil well and petroleum generator turning over, as they are the, uh, the very lifeblood of my colony over here right now. But we also want to expand all of this out, and that's gonna be a little bit more difficult with the current layout. And here we can see why it's a big problem. Every now and then people have to come in to release the pressure in the oil well. Uh, they get scolded, they're uh, in an environment they can't breathe in. There's a huge amount of pressure around here. It's just not great. There we can see the, the scolding happens. Uh, they, they take actual damage from that. It's, it's just a terrible situation to find ourselves in. So we want to try and avoid that if possible. Max are doing a lovely and taking care of Franklin there, as is demonstrated by the orange uh, exclamation marks of power. Who's getting scolded? Curry. Okay, well, that's fine, because we have just had some research rule in. Not only the drywall, as I'm sure you have all been waiting for, but indeed the exosuit forge, the atmosphere it's suit, uh, and uh, the atmosphere dock, sorry, and the atmosuit, atmospheric suit checkpoint oh turns out they're a bit of a tongue twister altogether. we need to put the uh the, the forge down somewhere and i'm not entirely sure where i'm going to put it i might just throw it here it's not something we're going to be using all day every day so I, i'm just just gonna do that and and hope that that will do well for us talking about doing well for us we've got the shearing station over here if i look at the errands maxwell is on the list whereas everybody else says it requires the skill to learn that's right i've given him what he loved i've put him up to critter ranching he's probably going to go all the way up to the the high levels there but as you can see his morale can barely take it as it is but i would like him to come along and uh and do this like we we, we need we need some reed fiber we we kind of need it now 
Okay, he enters the area, which I'm assuming, yeah, is actually a stable. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Maybe we'll, well, in fact, we will definitely be moving more of them in here. That's a bit of a circuitous route that he took, but that's fine. We can live with that. Uh, I suppose that, that will be fine. I mean, the only way we could deal with it is if we put some blocks there. I, I don't know if that's the way. Uh, is Maxwell going to be able to breathe throughout this entire operation? I sure do hope so. I feel like this red line here is missing the opportunity to be a progress bar. Um, the, the the lacking of breathing seems to be overriding the, the progress bar. I suppose we just kind of wait for it and see what happens. So the Dre Dreco's run free. Okay, the, the machine's just running loose. I'm sure there's a health and safety problem here. Let's, uh, let's put that back on uh, and get Maxwell doing the do's. Or not. All right, fine. We'll just leave those blades spinning wildly. After a night of good rest, Maxwell is back on the case. Let's speed this up a little bit here. Let's see if we can actually get some fibers being dropped. Unfortunately, the uh, the Draco, literally the furthest it could need to travel, just above it like that. Okay, so, I mean, what's going to happen here if uh, he runs out of breath and then he runs back? Okay, th th this is the situation. Then the Draco come back again and now how long can can this wait for can we get get through the whole thing or is there going to be a different problem here okay there we go we, we we got some fibers that that's great that's great the next thing that we need to happen is this exosuit forge really needs to be what do you mean unreachable dig ah okay so there must be some problems like this this will probably help Okay, is it the case that we just couldn't reach the top? Is, is that it? Is, is that the thing? All right, everybody's doing stuff. All right, this is good. Nothing, nothing got dug out above, though. Nothing really changed for it at all. Okay, exosuit forge. Nice. We can build an iron one? Okay, we can build one of them. I'll, I'll take that. Let, let's do that. Let's just leave that as an errand. Oh, wait, wait, wait. One. There we go. Let's leave that as an errand to be done. Franklin's probably going to get to it. Okay, that's that's good. That's nice. We could do with sweeping that up. Okay, we've got both a problem and an opportunity here. The water has stopped flowing out of this geyser, so we're going to have trouble feeding the uh, oxygen supply for a little while. I don't think this is going to be too much of a problem, but to confirm this, to confirm, we're going back over to reverse in somewhere that is also going to be having some troubles shortly. We've got a whole bunch of water here that we can make use of, thankfully. I'm not sure... Um, yeah, no, actually, that's, that's going to be fine. It just pours into there and then we make use of it. Is that just going to carry on going until it overfills? Maybe I should have put the liquid vent a little bit lower down. But never mind. Anyway, uh, we need to come to the teleporter. Say plank, if you could, please. As you're not going to be... Oh, you've been, you have been researching. As you're not going to be needed over here at the research station, could you please get inside, teleport back over to Pyaxlin, have a wonderful couple of days, as I know you're going to, over in a hot, steamy area. It's going to be almost like a sauna holiday, uh, and then his entire day is going to be spent trying to analyse this steam vent. And if we can, we want to get down here to the polluted water vent as well, but I don't, I don't know if we can get that. Okay, so while we leave Plank with that saga, I want to come over to this oil well and disable the building. I'm going to turn it up to quite a high quite a high priority there. We really do want it to stop depressurize, change setting. That's not great. You know what? I'm going to make it happen. Because we're starting to get a bit of a backlog of the petroleum here. As you can see, it's all backed all the way up. So we could just leave this hooked up as and when we need the extra power boost. But honestly, this, this setup over here has been keeping us going. Uh, we're pretty much only running this cooling system. So I think we're doing okay. Uh, has this been changed to disabled? Not yet. Okay, here comes Maxwell, doing the job. Unfortunately, Franklin still... Yeah, there we go. That That's all good. We'll just leave that like that now. Debating whether sealing this in is what I want to do right now. I mean, I will poke some holes through for some doorways, in particular coming to the ranches will probably be very important. I definitely want to seal this top area off almost on its own so that all the natural gas can be caught up. And when we move the petroleum generator down here somewhere, we could have a little gas... Um, gas pump over here to ship all of that back down to this gas generator 
But it looks like for now, we're, we're going to seal this in and start thinking about the big picture here. We want to start ripping down like this polymer press. Uh, this battery can probably go as well. Let's see if we can fit an, a replacement in anywhere. Like maybe if we move this granite these granite tiles over one, we could fit something in here. We'd have to continue the ladder over the top though. Which I don't think is a terrible idea. Let's try this. And whilst we're taking everything down, so we're probably not going to need this power transformer for the oil refinery and such like, we are going to need a way to power the atmosphere, atmospheric suits. So um, may maybe, maybe that's it. <laughs> And whilst we are ripping down all of the infrastructure around here, so we probably won't need the battery for the refinery and such because they'll all be down here and probably have their own little transformer set up somewhere around. Uh, we will be needing to power the, let's have a look in the stations here, the atmospheric checkpoint and the suit dock. Uh, as you can see, 120 watts whilst in use. Okay, we've mostly got the water issue sorted now. This is going to flow out and around and up and into the uh, into the oxygen station over here. Max Planck doing his best. We're, we're still not all the way through that analysis yet, and I'd really like to get him onto looking at this stuff as well. But uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Okay, smart battery in place. We can start ripping down everything here. Yeah, it's probably enough for us to come into the checkpoint there and then an atmosphere dock on the other side uh, of course we will need to power the ooh, ooh, do you mind we will need to power these but we already know how we're doing that along like so beautiful but this is going to need an actual atmospheric uh, suit to put in it what, what what's going on with that let's have a look has all the materials been delivered no not even close how about if i put this up here maxwell is on a one on that okay we'll, we'll, we'll let that play out and see how that goes Okay, the good thing about this is there's room for expansion. We need to figure out how we are going to get some more suit, uh, get some gases up here. Look, we got we got some oxygen that we can just steal. Uh, the ventilation takes precedent, it turns out. But how about we just fit it into there? I'm going to go ahead and snip this here and ask for the rest to be deconstructed for now until we figure out what we're doing with it. I'm sure a vent in there will be handy, but it's not what we need right now indeed what we need right now is to jump this over like so pure clean oxygen going into the atmospheric dock suits uh, bring this down we could we could of course bring more down as and when we need them but that's not right now uh same could be done with the power but again that's not right now oh analysis complete wonderful let's have a look active period uh, 12 cycles okay that's not too long to wait for though um 81 out of 146. That's nice. That's nice. So down here, I've uh, laid out a few plans. Let, let's go and see if we can't find out. Oh, I want all of them, thanks. Uh, what the uh, what the geyser's active period is down here. It says dormant right now. It's 30 degree water. Is this the polluted water vent? Let's have a look at this. Uh, uh, 11 kilograms per second of 30 degree water. That is a lot, actually. Um, it's got food poisoning in it. Oh, wait, that's a bit more of a problem. Not a, not a serious problem, but I'd, I'd really, really like this to get... Um, I'd really like this to, to be analyzed whilst we have plank around what do you mean made a mess why does this keep oh maxwell 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 Let, let's see what happens from this but more importantly yeah this has not been cleaned out we need to upgrade these guys's toilets this this is this is ridiculous to be surviving on an outhouse we might even convert this whole top area here into some sort of hotel area Okay, we managed to pick it all up. That's nice. Good work, Franklin. And who's cleaning the toilets? Okay, Plank. But not ideal, if I'm to be honest, but it's pretty good. Okay, we've done it. It's loose. The polluted water vent is out. Let's see. Uh, Plank currently on it. He is on his way over. It's going to take a few days to get this sorted. So I'm going to build a decontamination chamber up the top here. We're going to pick up the water with this uh, this pump, which is probably not in the best place. Let's, let's move this down to the bottom. Uh, and then after we pick it up, we're going to... Oh, what, what, what's here? Balm lily. That's unfortunate. We're going to pass it through a bunch of li liquid reservoirs, then test it for germs and then pump it away should be just as simple as that like well, how could it be anything other than, than simplicity how could it be anything other than simplicity itself no oh, that's that's kind of funny we've run out of plastic we just squeeze this in. i bet i bet we could just squeeze this in here and we wouldn't have too much of a problem Okay, this guy, we've got loads of time to wait for 31 cycles okay that's great we've got some uh 
Some bleach stone already gassing off there. That's that's not quite where we want it. Let's get one of these automatic dispensers, pop it there, and we'll use that to get the bleach stone up here. Okay, so automatic dispenser. I think it's the missile. Oh, I never I never know where it is. Hold up, let me find the bleach stone. Consumable ore. Of course it's consumable ore. I'm not even going to tick sweep only. We're just going to say, hey, everybody, pick up all the bleach stone and put it here, please. Right, right here. We could also probably do with this one being built as well. Yeah, let's stick it down on nine. Hopefully plank won't get just stuck in a little cycle. Okay, that's good. I don't know how much more bleach stone we have out there. I mean, there's some we can just pick up randomly around, but I wonder how much we've actually mined we already started to build up a nice little chlorine layer there i don't know how much we've got how much it will turn into i'm never sure can you see it the little fish bowl on the floor that's right the exosuit has been made so if i come along here and go deliver suit a little ghost appears in the dock waiting for its partner its real life body over there to come along and be put in place i don't know if it's a high yeah it looks like it's got quite a high priority job maxwell making himself some antihistamines to stop the tyranny of the bristle blossom over here but as soon as he's done that and probably taken some medication he'll be back over here to uh load the atmosphere dock up it's downtime again uh also maxwell's stressed what why are you stressed what what's up with that is it bad around here is it bad around here i mean it's kind of horrific everywhere isn't it Okay, Franklin bringing the atmospheric uh, dock suit across, which is which is nice because we're starting to get a bit of uh, a, a gas problem here. And that is something that we can sort out. We're going to have to rip down this oil refinery. I've asked for it to be ripped down. And obviously at some point, this mess of pipes needs to be fixed. I think we can probably rip down most of what's going on here. I'm going to leave the bridge in place because you never know. We'll probably want to use it at some point later. But everything else can come down for now. That sorts out for the oil. That's probably going to be happening somewhere about here. And we'll have the refineries blah, up, blah, up. Blah the two places here maybe we'll, we'll, we'll see about that we will see about that right now though people able to wear the suit I, I see i see some deconstruction going on but i'm not seeing too much other stuff uh, happening around you might wonder why i've just put this filter down in place here but look at all this carbon dioxide that's just like drifting part Ooh, there we go first dock suit uh, first suit wear this is this is nice curie doing the business uh so yeah there's a lot lots of carbon dioxide drifting past here obviously we want to try and intercept that and let it free so if we do something like this and this and then snip the line there like as so uh, we, we do need to power it, of course, but thankfully there's power right here. So let's uh, let's power that one up. Uh, and this will be searching for, as I say, carbon dioxide, which we can start feeding to the slicks, which are underneath here. As you can see, I've already got the, um, the, the pens all laid out, the stables, uh, and we just kind of need to dig our way over there. And I think we're going to use this one first. I don't know. I don't know which one we're going to use first, actually. there There is a slick there. There's another slick over here. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, it, it'd kind of be nice to uh, do the bottom one first. Or is it better to do the top because it's less less distance to travel? Let's, let's do the top first. Let's do the top first. Well, we've got ourselves into a fine pickle here where Curie can't actually escape. Oh, and no one can make it in to save her. Okay, that's interesting. We've got ourselves a bit more of an issue than I thought we had. It's not going to be the end of the world, though. If we dig some stuff out and get ourselves a few materials, I'm sure we'll be able to build, I don't know, there's some granite and there's some obsidian, so we'll definitely be able to build over there. I'm probably going to have to deconstruct this pipe. This will, uh, this pump, sorry, this will give us the steel to build this one with that says it wants to be made out of copper. No, 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 my friend, you need to be made out of steel. It's going to get hot in here. Ah, it's because I don't have much over here. That's that's something we can fix. That's not the end of the... Oh, that, that was probably it, actually. Let's, uh... Liquid pipe? No, it wasn't. Sad. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna uproot all these mealwood. We're back over on Reversal Inn, by the way. I was just about to send a whole bunch of steel over. In fact, I'm gonna do that now. Let's get rid of all the edibles. Let's come down to industrial... No, it's not industrial. It's manufactured materials, my bad. Steel, just send us a bunch over. Let's have a look. We got no pen why because we've not been sending the iron ore from here okay that's a thing to fix at some point oh need to build some more granite root is she proper stuck 
Did she jump over here? There's a question I've got. Yes, okay, that that's fine. Okay, so the granite to pick up and fix those with, thankfully, hopefully, maybe. Oh, and she she could just run across now. Okay, that's that's good. That's fine. We do have a bit of a, a problem here, and that is one that we definitely need to get fixed ASAP. All right, well, that, whilst that's being dug out, bam, steel, nice. Okay, not that we need it anymore, but the iron ore is starting to flow again, so this should continue the uh, the process. Apart from, we have kind of flooded the metal refinery, but that's a problem for another day. <laughs> problem for today is not killing more slicks. That that would be great. If I could just not kill the slicksters, I will be very... Oh, there he is, there he is. Okay, that would be very great. That that would be good. I'm not sure why Maxwell's, Maxwell's in here. Not, not really the ideal person to be moving around when we've got all of this to dig out. I mean, it's kind of cool that Maxwell's going around and giving all these deliveries, and there's quite a bit to be done here, but I feel like we could move him over to the cook list. That might be a better thing for him to be doing, and we could get Ripley in here. So let's move you over this way. Uh, maybe turn up the... Maxwell, turn up the cooking priority. Turn down the supplying priority. Maybe turn up Franklin's supply. That would be nice. Okay, so we now have tasty nourishment for the slicksters flowing. This is pretty good. All the carbon dioxide is going to come through here, drop out of the gas vent and come down and feed these guys. Hopefully Curie is now going to be... You know what? I don't think this outside edge needs to be as important as it currently is. Uh, and the same with this line here. What is important is getting this open. Given Curie's personal love of digging, this should be a fairly quick process of just going through. Okay, this is great. This is amazing. Still need to figure out what we're going to do with all this natural gas. I think we're going to have to have a pump somewhere. Uh, I mean, maybe down here, maybe up there. I don't know. And then we'll be checking for the quality of the gases above and below it. And whenever it's purely natural gas, dump it into... Well, I mean, we want to dump it into these... Uh, generators over here right that that that's a thing we need to do speaking of i have connected well i've not connected i've built a gas filter over here so that we can connect it up to this line so this guy here is going to be carrying anything that is not natural gas but this guy could be carrying pretty much anything so i'm going to allow an output here for the flow of natural gas let's cut that like this wonderful uh now we just need to figure out how to get it to jump over a couple of times perhaps it would have been better to run it up here but we're going to jump over a couple of times and hook it up to i mean ideally this point so that the flow stays consistent okay many gas pipes later that should do us Oh, the flow happens. There is flow. Okay, this is good. The, the real question, of course, is whether the Slickster can stay up there. That that would be ideal. If we could just keep the Slickster in that tiny little box there. All right, there's no way for it to come down now. So now we need to make sure that um, Curie's priorities lie over here on this ladder down to the pump. I think, I think Curie might have full-on dug herself into some trouble here. So we're going to dig this out so hopefully she can jump across. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, going to maybe take out down to this one. That that would be ideal. Let's uh, just drop the priorities below there. And then hopefully she can get out for dinner because downtime's been cool. There we go. Beautiful. All right. That was a bit of a convoluted escape route, but we, we managed it. We managed it. But whilst we take this moment right here and watch Curie excavate the rest of the ladder way, I would like to take this moment right here and thank every single one of my patrons. Every interaction with my videos, a view, a like, or a comment, promote me up for the algorithm to share to others. And I thank everybody out there. But those who have dug a little deeper, gone the extra mile and wish to support me financially, have gone to Patreon. That's why scrolling up your screen right now you will see a list of names. These are the names of the guys and girls that have gone that extra mile and supported me and I am taking this moment to say thank you so much. I appreciate it so much. There's literally no way I could do this without your guys' support. Why has Maxwell got a blue bar? What, what, what's the blue bar about? I don't see, like, 95 health is low, but it's not halfway. What is, what is this? I don't understand. Stress? No. Well, it's been fun, but I think it's time to send uh, 
Clank home. He's been over here. He's done the two jobs we really needed him to do. He's run around in the background doing a few things like moving materials around for us. It's been really helpful, but I think we should send him back home now because we have a couple of researches that we want to be uh, taken underway. If I come over here, I, I want to be able to get the critter sensor so that we can start being a bit selective about when we pick up the eggs. Uh, at the moment, it just throws them all in here and I have to use the power of the critter drop off to try and balance out the pens. Also, I've noticed that um, th these guys are eating the meat. That that's what's been happening to a lot of our meat. How we've ended up with 400 calorie, uh, 4,000 sorry calories of meat, I will never, never know. Back where all the action has been happening, incubation 99%. This guy is ready to pop. We really want to make sure that we get everything taken care of before that actually happens. Stations actually what I'm after. Let's get a grooming. I can't, I can't do it because of that ladder. Mm, that, that's fine. We'll move the ladder. Oh, Curie, please don't drop him out of there. We we, we kind of need to make sure all the slicks stay in the ranches. Okay, that's good. That's good. I mean, technically, this is also going to be a ranch down here, but we, we'd like to try and keep them over here and ideally trap them in this small space, which has a small hole at the top here so we can, like, pass through. In fact, that now means we don't need these mesh tiles because the doors will be taking up the space that they were. Okay. But this should be a 96 tile space here. Uh, hopefully the maximum that this could be. Oh, this guy's so cute though. And we really need to get the carbon dioxide flowing out of here. With that in mind, this thing produces a lot of carbon dioxide. And at the moment, we're just kind of throwing it down on top of the carbon skimmers. Now, we could... Uh, just disable these buildings and i think i am going to just disable these buildings as well but that will mean that when then using like this pump to pick stuff up and oh there's a problem right this is a priorities issue uh this storage of natural gas over here shouldn't be the priority the burning of this should be the priority so if in fact what i do is copy this out round like this and then run a gas pipe no, no, a, ga a gas pipe, please. Up and in. Uh, when these little bits get burnt, let's cut this as well. Uh, when these little get bits get burnt, then all of this will start to be drained from, and that should let this loose again. There we go, free. Okay, we, we, we've got it. We've got it turning over. That's great. Uh, right. The other thing I wanted to do was dump all this nice pure uh, carbon dioxide into there uh, and turn this liquid, uh, this gas bridge around. Now we should have pure carbon dioxide going up to join the Slicksters because we need to feed them and uh, sometimes, just sometimes, that becomes a bit of an issue. Ah, oh, beautiful. We got some uh, taming underway, a bit of grooming. Uh, whilst this is on auto here, I'm just going to quickly get this door shut and keep this guy locked in place. Beautiful. Uh, did we interrupt the groom? Okay, that's a little bit of a shame, but the wildness going down. I'm sure this will get uh, picked up again. But you might have noticed I have ripped down a whole bunch of toilets here and put up some nice fancy new ones, but I just wanted to know what this uh, replace all the outhouses uh, oh, oh, I thought we'd I thought we had already done that. Well, there we go. We have got ourselves a nice fancy achievement. I'm going to clear this area out. We're going to have a nice toilet here, but I need to do a couple of things with the output of this toilet. First things at first, we, we need to water sieve it, and I'm almost certain this is the direction round that I want to do it. Yes, beautiful. But then we're going to have some dirty water here. Uh, wait, let me just figure out which way is the out. This is indeed the out. But then we're going to have a whole bunch of dirty water here. Uh, it's going to be... Um, like nice clean water but it's polluted and how do we deal with polluted water we feed it into this system down here this is the one that we've been working on uh this system is our chlorine system uh, for the polluted uh polluted water vent it's going to have a whole bunch of food poisoning in it so uh, it seems like a good place to put the output from the toilets right Okay, it might not be the absolute smartest way, but we're going to take this line here and I'm going to bring it across and to this liquid bridge that I've got. I have just connected these together. I didn't mean to do that. To this liquid bridge that we've got here and then across the bottom of the water tank, which is possibly the bad option there, uh, and up into the bridge. The reason this could be a bad option, it's going to be filled with germy water. Do I really want to take it through my water tank? Uh, I'm kind of going to have to, unfortunately. Got a little bit worried about how much my water was dropping then, but of course we've just taken out a whole area down here. It's not because we're pulling out more water than we can deal with. Oof. Oh, that was that was a worry. 
This is me realising that I can indeed be a bit of a fool sometimes. We didn't need to clean the water here. And in fact, I'm going to rip all of this down because we've got a cleaning station being built over here. Why, why would I build two? I don't know. Well, I've now got two ways in for the dirty water. So we have dirty water going into the system via this route here, which hopefully should be just waiting for some filtration medium, but it does clean the water. It jumps it over and puts it into this liquid reservoir, which then gets fed into this next liquid reservoir where we have got a whole bunch of water with a whole bunch of germs. The germs are being killed by the chlorine that we've got in here via the monders of some bleach stone. Uh, and then this little... Uh, automation sensor down the end here is looking for clean water purely clean water as long as we've got zero under zero germs it will then turn on this liquid shut off valve which goes and dumps it up into what is essentially our main storage of water over here i am definitely thinking of expanding our water storage down to something about this sort of size let's just say that uh, that would that would be great but we can't do that right now because i've just realized how much time we have not got in this episode uh the, today we have gone around and we have built ourselves a nice little slickster stable over here we've got it's 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 in fact tame and starting to produce eggs as we speak 41 percent halfway through that's amazing we've also done a few things over on reversal in here we've managed to uh, redistribute all the hatches so that we've got much more food coming through as you can see barbecue is actually a thing that's on there now and we are starting to rip down all of our uh, mill route because we we just can't keep the dirt economy turning over once once you get past the toilets where you get polluted dirt and turn it via the magic of compost into dirt once you get past that you really cannot get too much dirt back i'm just gonna get a, a direct clip there i'm not sure how we'll get the dirt in the long term it is one of the things that i always seem to fail with but until then i'm gonna say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you guys next time where we're gonna finish the oil biome i realize we kind of left it halfway through but we've done a lot of things today including shearing dreco and uh, getting the exosuits up and running so i'll see you then or oh, when we're gonna oh, no, do that bye